this is recorded. All right, and then I'm also going to bring up what a word. Then you'll have to share the screen.
So do you just add it or something? Okay. She just put you in the class yes, or something? Okay. okay. All right. And then you were on the other one. Okay. So did I get everybody then? All right. Okay. Now in South Boston. Hi there. I got Kelsey Bradshaw. No. Kevin Brown. Y'all over there? How about Henry Crenshaw? Okay, are y'all just not answering me or? I'm not hearing a thing. Somebody raise a hand over there. Nobody. Chandler Hart, nobody. All right, let's tell the folks over there that we don't have any sound. Hey, call over there real quick.
Yes. All right, we're working on it. Always had technical difficulties. Um, I'll give you an extra. While I'm there, who's having book problems? All right. You've got the right one. You have 14th or 15th? I don't have it yet. Yeah. They're, they got the new edition there, but not the old one. And the old one is the one that they're supposed to be selling. So check and see if you all have. You have 14? Yeah. Okay, that's the one I want. So we have 14. Okay. What you got? Let me see the front. If you got 14, you're good. You don't have a book yet. And you don't have one yet, and you don't have one yet. So I have three people that don't have books. All right, Alberta, you got books over there? Do you have the right ones? No, I haven't got the book yet. Okay. And how about Emporia? Have you got a book yet? Yes. Y'all got 14th edition? Yes.
but hand out a syllabus here, which I'm going to pull up on the screen so we can talk about that. So uh, I did survey to see how many folks did not have a textbook or did not have the right edition. If you have not gotten your textbook, please, South Boston, let me know how many folks do not have a textbook yet. Mine's on the way. It's just in the mail. Okay, so two of you. Now, everybody else, I need you to look and make sure it is the 14th edition that you have. If we, if we had your class, like, last semester, is the book going to be the same? What? Is the book the same as, uh, I have an old book. It is the same as the new book. It's the 14th edition. I can't tell you what, I don't know what you had, because I didn't teach it last semester. I mean, it's the semester before. Uh, yeah, it's the same one that I taught in uh, spring or summer uh, last year. Is the book the same? It's the same as what I had in the spring or summer, but what you need to do is check and see if you got the 14th edition. All right. Okay. So I've got two people that don't have books yet, even though they might have been ordered, and I have, everybody else has the 14th edition. Because they're trying to sell the 15th edition here, and it's not working. So um, if you get the 15th edition, let me know. Okay? I magically just switched over to the one person. Oh, and they left. oh no, they, left. they lost. Okay, I lost South Boston. are lumped into one section. So um, 
the announcements are here. I usually send an email for any announcements. So uh, make sure you watch your South Side email, not your personal email. Make sure you watch your South Side email accounts. That's where all the college correspondence takes place. Okay. Um, Let's take a look at the syllabus. South Boston, I will bring you some hard copies tomorrow, uh, or excuse me, Thursday, but the um, other two folks still have to just pull it up on the, on the Blackboard site and take a look at it. Okay? So we do have four sections of this class going on at one time. Uh, it is principles of management, so I hope everybody is in the right place. I am Dr. Henderson. Um, best way to get a hold of me is to email me, um, not use that phone number because the phone, uh, I'm not on this campus all the time. Um, you might leave a message and it could take me days to actually get back and, and pick it up. So please email me. Um, we are scheduled to meet from 3 to 4.20 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will float back and forth between the Keysville campus and the South Boston campus. So um, some of you will see me through the computer. Others will see me um, the live thing back and forth. Um, Alberta and um, Emporia. Your small numbers make it so that I'm, it's not just feasible to even go there, but I'm always available to you through the through email or live. You can talk to me anytime here. Um, my office hours are listed here. They're also on my door. My office, the, for some reason, there is no room number on this template, but I'm in 46A in this building here in Keysville, the instructional building, uh, 46A. Um, when I'm in South Boston, I usually tend to just hang out wherever the classroom is. I think I'll be um, on, there on Wednesdays at 2.30, probably um, in the Anthem classroom or one of those um, classrooms up on the second floor there. So. Um, but don't look for me on Fridays. I'm not around on Fridays, okay? All right, so we are going to look at the basic functions of management this semester. There's four of them, planning, organizing, leading, and controlling, and we'll delve into each one of those uh, as we go through the semester. And as I said, the textbook you should have is the 14th edition um, if it turns out that we can only get 15th editions for some other folks, then uh, we may have to adapt to that. But the 14th edition is the one that we really need to be working off of. There's a listing of our um, course objectives there. Um, you can read through that. It's also repeated on your first page in your um, assignments in Blackboard, but you can see we're going to look at um, each one of those four functions in depth there. We'll look at um, all of them and, and hopefully incorporate a lot of conversation that you all have about any experiences you may have had in the work world, either as a manager or working for someone else where you see that there needs to be some changes along the way. So lots of uh, important topics that you may have already had some experience with. You're going to have um, three tests in a final, uh, which the final is not exactly a final exam by any means, along with some homework assignments. Each one of those are worth 20% worth of your grade. Um, we will have uh, a 10 point grading scale in here, so 90 to 100 is an A and so on. Your attendance is very important, even though you might not be in the location that I am in, I will be keeping up with your attendance and 
The college has a 20% mandatory attendance requirement. So uh, you do have to attend um, at least 20% of the classes. If you miss more than that, then that turns into a withdrawal if it's before the withdrawal date or a if it's after the withdrawal date. Uh, be here on time. Hopefully we can get started on time in the future and not have to worry about technology here. But if you do have perfect attendance with no absences for any reason whatsoever, you'll get three points added to your final grade. I am recording all the lectures, so I should be able to, um, each after each class period, upload those recordings to Blackboard if you need to go back and take a look at those. We're going to have a lot of blank time at the beginning of um, this one, but we'll uh, hopefully do a little bit better from now on. Um, just remember that whatever you say is being recorded as well, so hopefully you won't use any four-letter uh, words or anything like that and get yourself in trouble. But um, encourage you, no one except those people in this class will actually see it. Um, I don't take late work. Um, I am a stickler for the honor code, so uh, we don't want to see any violations of that. Uh, I have 48 hours to respond to you for any emails within uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, you can certainly email me on the weekend, but I'm not guaranteed. All right, you're welcome. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody have a question? No? Okay. Um, again, make sure you're using your south side email, um, not your personal email. Um, south side now has food pantries available if you're in need of any of those services. They're located in the B building on the Alberta campus and in the Learning Resource Center next door in the library if you not in the library, but the building that has the library in it, in case you need that. Um, geez, they're calling for snow already, but certainly um, hope you'll be able to make it without having to miss too many classes because of bad weather. But I highly encourage you to sign up for our alert system if you have not already. Um, these are the TV and radio stations that will be carrying announcements, but the easiest way to do it is just to sign up for the alert. That way you get a text message um, immediately when the decision is made that uh, classes are being either delayed or canceled or whatever. So um, I recommend you do that right away. Uh, if you have any special needs, you will need to uh, notify either John Hicks or Melissa Wood. Uh, who will contact me to let me know if there are um, any kind of accommodations that need to be made for you. It's a self-identified system, but you do um, need to go to them, not directly to me. We have an early alert referral system um, to assist in case we see a student get into any kind of um, problems with the class. Uh, we can intervene and try to help out there as well. Title IX pretty much just says we don't tolerate sexual harassment, misconduct, and there's a bunch of contact names and numbers if you need to uh, report anything like that. And then under additional information, I always reserve a 5% adjustment in my final grade for what I call qualitative factors. That just gives me a little bit of leeway in case somebody is very borderline. But that's not guaranteed. It's only at my discretion. Um, you are responsible for everything I discuss or assign, and I don't do extra credit or retakes or anything like that. All right, that page on the um, calendar is really um, probably the most important in the handout there. Um, 
today or this week. Of course, we're just doing an introduction today and making sure our technology is all working. Uh, but on Thursday, we will go through chapter one, an introductory chapter. So you need to have read chapter one by Thursday. You can see we're pretty much doing two chapters a week. Um, one of them on Tuesday, the other on Thursday, uh, except for the weeks where we have tests and so on. Um, the first test is scheduled the last week of January, where we meet twice a week. It may be that um, I have to test at one location on Tuesday and the other one on Thursday, uh, vice versa. So I'll be letting you know which day of the week and plenty of time for you to uh, get that test taken. Uh, the tests are uh, on the computer, so we will have to move to a location where there are computers if um, you're not already in a classroom with computers. All right, we do have spring break there, the first full week in March. Oh, and by the way, we do have a holiday, I think it's the 21st of January for Martin Luther King Day, but that's a Monday, so that doesn't really affect this class. Um, we also have further down the list here, towards the end of the semester, we have on April 16th, uh, Panther Prep Advising Day, Tuesday, so classes are usually canceled on those days. That's when you need to come to campus and talk with your advisor about enrolling for the summer or the fall, or if you're graduating, make sure you got everything in line as far as graduation goes. So you'll see that the last test is actually um, scheduled for the last week in April. I do not give a comprehensive final exam. So um, we should be done and complete with the class by the end of April. We won't go on into exam week unless there's something out of the ordinary. The next page has a calendar for the entire um, college. So that's where you see that holiday. You see drop and add um, dates and uh, withdrawal dates and so on on there. So you uh, may need to keep some of those in mind. Everyone is required to acknowledge that you have read and understand the syllabus you will be submitting that to me through the computer. So um, not the physical paper here. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes, but you will um, sign that you have read and you understand the syllabus uh, for the class and you'll be turning that in to me. And you actually will get a grade for it. If you don't turn it in, we'll have to withdraw you from the class. That's one of our methods of checking. <laughs> I believe that's it for the syllabus. Um, anybody have any questions about that syllabus at all right now? I'll, again, I'll go over how to submit that last page before we're done, but any calendar questions or anything else? Folks on any other location, y'all clear with everything? Silence is golden, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so I uh, will we'll go with that. On your Blackboard website, the um, policies and accommodation, whether that's kind of a repeat of what's in the, the syllabus, but you're more than welcome to use this as your information because um, sometimes you may not have your syllabus. All right, the getting started, um, navigating Blackboard tab over there has lots of information about how to actually navigate the course and take tests and post to the discussion board and so on. Um, I'm not certainly going to read those with, to you right now, that's for sure, but I do want to go through one of those and that is the readiness and Medicaid tab um, will be, of course, using technology to communicate a lot of the time. So we want to assume that um, you're thinking through what you're putting together. 
uh, when you're communicating. So uh, there's some information there about what kind of technology skills you should have and so on. Um, please be sure that when you communicate with me through uh, email that you are considering that to be your professional correspondence. Um, no abbreviated words, no little letters, um, that kind of stuff like you do in texting. You don't want to do that with your uh, professor. So be sure that you are um, using proper grammar and, and that sort of thing. So um, just again, view it as the professional correspondence rather than um, talking to friends on the phone. So your assignments tab here is probably the one you will use the most. Let me switch this over to the student version so you will be exactly what I, I'm showing on the board. It's a little bit different because I had the instructor's view up there earlier. But when you click on assignments, um, you're always going to see these things pinned to the top. There is some tutoring services available through Smart Thinking. We also are focusing in on um, making sure our students have uh, good literacy. So we have a, a list of words of the week that uh, we'll be following throughout the semester. So uh, rambunctious is the first one there. And I hope you all won't get too rambunctious in class. Um, but you know, we'll try to use that word a little bit during the week to make sure you all have expanded your vocabulary a little bit. That'll stay the same. This is a copy of the textbook you're supposed to have. So um, yours should look like that. There's a, a listing of the objective again, same as on your course outline. And then you'll see week by week a list of uh, requirements and assignments and so on. Right now you're only seeing week one because I only make them available as we go rather than throwing out all the information at one time. So you'll want to click on week one and each week is set up in a module that gives you an overview, a to-do list, some materials, and then kind of a recap of what we've done. So the overview for this week just says we'll be introducing the topic. Uh, we will look at the syllabus and the calendar and so on. And we will be doing chapter one, which talks about um, the definition of management and so on. Uh, it is a very basic introductory chapter that we will cover on Thursday, so you make sure that you read before you come to class. It gives you some learning objectives just for that chapter. Your to-do list, just check these off. Make sure you're on track. Get your textbook, read chapter one. There are assignments under the week one materials that you'll need to do, so we'll look at those. Um, you also need to look at any materials that are there uh, for you, like PowerPoints and videos and so on. And please don't forget to email me if you have any questions. The next tab you'll see is it's actually underlined, this link. Whenever there's an underline here, that means that you click on it and there's something else there. And you will see week one's materials available for you. The first two are the assignments that I alluded to earlier. One is a discussion board. It's just an introductory discussion board and the other is signing that syllabus acknowledgement. So I'll go through those with you in just a minute. Um, each chapter I will have uh, PowerPoint slides available that we'll use to kind of outline the chapter and they are included here. Um, and sometimes I will include some videos that will kind of reinforce 
the points that I'm making in class. I have one for chapter one there. Okay. Uh, this will also be where I will download the recording. So after the class takes place, I will load the recording for today's lecture. Uh, and I'll just update those Thursday. I'll load Thursday's lecture and so on. So you can go back and if you didn't quite get something during the during the class, you can review it. Or if for some reason you have to miss a class, you should be able to find those uh, available to you the next day. It sometimes takes overnight to get them loaded up, but uh, should be not too long after class is over. All right, so let's take a look here at the first assignment, which is the discussion board. Okay, when you click there, uh, it will immediately take you to um, this discussion board. It's the same thing as if you click discussion board over here. I see some folks have already posted for us in the introductory forum. Main thing to do is to make sure you are reading all the instructions because this is rated and if you're missing anything then you'll get a little bit of a points taken off like this particular week asked you to post a selfie or a picture of something that represents you along with some other information so if you leave that off you get points deducted there but if you click on introduction introduction form you can see folks that have um, already introduced themselves, including myself. So you can see here that um, I have some information about myself there, and I have also included a picture, which I don't think I need to bring up because most of you see me either here or um, you can take a look at it later if you would like. Um, you can me, uh, everyone else's. Um, Posts are certainly available for you to reply to as well. So feel free to do that. So that you need to get done pretty quickly. If you do not um, post to the discussion board, once again, that's considered your first activity along with the syllabus assignment. And if we don't see any activity there, you will get withdrawn from class. So that's the discussion board. Let's go back to the second thing that was on that list. That's the syllabus assignment. Now, there's a tendency to want to jump down here and immediately click on this file, but you really need to read the directions first before you start clicking on anything. It says, after reading and understanding the course syllabus, click on the words syllabus assignment. See, that's underlined, so that's gonna take you somewhere. Open the correct attached file for your section, type your full name, date, sign, and submit. It's a Word document, submit it through using attached file. You can electronically sign by placing your name within forward slashes. For example, I would sign slash Diane Henderson slash in the signature line. Now, if you prefer, you can print it out, physically sign it, and scan it. I don't know why you want to do all that, all that work there. So I'm going to do exactly what it says here so you'll see what's going on. I'm going to click on syllabus assignment. When you do, you'll see that it's due by midnight on Sunday, January the 13th, it repeats the directions there. Okay, so it tells me to click on this file here, which will open up a Word document. Probably will have to click Enable Editing to be able to write on it. This just says that by signing that you have read and understand the syllabus, you just gotta type your name in there. Just keep going. 
Um, it'll make those lines <coughs> over, so you might have to do a few deletions just to get the lines squared away. But today's date in there, what is today? And again, for the signature, what you want to do is place the slash, your name, another slash. Okay? Now you're putting your name there, not mine. I had maybe two semesters ago, somebody actually turned in one that had my name on it. Okay, you're the one signing it, okay? All right, so after you fill that in, you're going to need to save it. So just all save anywhere you want to. Uh, I would browse and, and save it somewhere, but make sure you name it something that's not a blank one. I'm just going to um, add on fill or something like that so that I know that that's my file, not the blank one. And I get other downloads, but you'll put it whatever. You've got a folder you want to save other. Or I'll draw whatever and just say. Then I can close this out. I go back here and I'm going to submit it. It says submit it as attaching the file. So I go here to attach file, browse my computer till I can find it. Is it downloads? So far, 
are so good. Okay, that was all that was under the week one materials this week. Of course, you're going to want to check that um, as you go. Remember, I'll be adding the recordings uh, as well, so they'll be available for you. Yeah, was that early? Was it? I think it was Got a question? Y'all got to help me. I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> Who's talking to me? No one? Y'all just talking among yourselves because we can hear you, remember? But if you got a question, just speak up so I can, I can help you out. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm trying to, man. Hello, who's talking? Let's see. I'm thinking it's probably in South Boston, since that's where most people are. I hear. Hmm, I hear people talking, so I don't know <laughs> whether somebody has a question for me or y'all are just discussing life in general or what. But if you've got a question, uh, make sure you speak up, even if it means going up to the microphone and speaking. So, uh, I can't help you out. So should we go get somebody? I don't know. The way I look, she must have found this to it. Hello? Oh, there you go. It's about to be out South Boston, can you hear me? Yes. yes. How about Christiana? Alberta, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Emporia, can you hear me? Yes. yes. All right. Somebody's talking, and I can't. I can't understand what you're saying. So, um, if I am. Neglecting your question is because I can't understand you. So just scream out, Dr. Henderson, pay attention to me, or whatever. Because um, I'm hearing talking, but I don't know what, it's, what it's all about. All right, the last thing on this uh, week one is just a summary saying this is what we did week one, and this is what we're going to do next week. So you can kind of keep up with uh, your study strategy for the upcoming weeks. Best way to email me is to use this email link right here because that automatically puts the name of the course and the section in that link, uh, in that email. So um, I get more emails from folks and I have no idea what class they're in. So please, please identify what class you're in. The easiest way to do it is to just use that email link right there. It automatically does it for you. And remember, if you're trying to use your personal email, chances are I won't answer it because I only recognize those that are Southside email addresses. My computer will blip out most of the personal email as it is anyway. All right, I am going to stop that sharing right now. So you guys should see me again. Get me back on here. Okay, so hopefully, um, when we're lecturing, hopefully we will um, be able to toggle back and forth between the the PowerPoint slides so that everybody is seeing them um, as we are going through the lecture and actually seeing my face because that's the awful to have to sit in a classroom and stare at PowerPoint for um, an hour and 20 minutes without seeing a person. So um, please feel, feel free to speak up and say, show us something on the screen other than the PowerPoint or Whatever, don't, you know, because I get 
I'll get into whatever I'm doing and not realize that I'm making it very boring for you. So uh, please think up. Just think of it as uh, as FaceTiming your friends or Skyping somebody or something. There, we're all in this together. And as I said, I will be going back and forth between Keysville and um, South Boston. So the bulk of the class will get a chance to see me once a week uh, in Coria and Alberta. Um, I love y'all too, but I can't travel all that way just to see one person. So we'll have to go uh, with what we've got there. So tell me what kind of questions do you have so far? I know you've got getting books on your mind and that's something you need to take care of right away. We're going to when I let you go, if you're going to go to the bookstore to check those out, please tell them it's the 14th edition that you want, not the 15th. Uh, they ought to be able to find some 14th editions somewhere. Uh, they shouldn't just say, oh, we can't get those. They're out here. Okay? Of course, if you're not relying on the bookstore to get your books. If you're doing your ordering yourself and you don't have to worry about financial aid or anything like that, you ought to be able to find the, the 14th edition fairly cheap. Okay? Um, doesn't have to be that loose leaf one, but you know, you can buy one that's got a cover on it. Mine's got, um, mine's, mine's actually got a cover on it. It's not a hard cover, but it's a cover, so um, if you can get it cheaper that way, that's certainly fine. Waiting for questions. What do you want to know? Yes, ma'am. Do I have to go back to Matt Dodd and have him switch me to the Kingsville class? Or... Who's your advisor? I've always just called him Matt. All right. What program are you in? Okay. And that's me, and I will bring you uh, a form that you can do an ad drop on uh, and come see me sometime. I know a lot more about accounting than Matt Dunn. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love Matt, but he's a jack of all trades, whereas I'm a specialist. So. Um, all right. What else? So you're going to go fuss at the bookstore because you want the 14th edition if you don't have it. Okay, you're going to read chapter one. You're going to get your discussion board done and your syllabus assignment if you have not done those already. Please, please don't hesitate if you have a problem with either of those assignments. Uh, I see an Apple back there, computer, Mac, sometimes they don't work. Got to use Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. Oh, good. Yeah, okay, because a lot of a lot of students don't realize that, and it won't yeah. take those page things. But you can download yeah. Office. Um, there's some instructions right outside of IT on how to download it for it's free. On so. Oh, yeah, it's, it's also on, on Blackboard too. So uh, please don't send me those that have those weird um, file extensions that I can't <laughs> open because it'll. Um, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, but you know, if you don't have a computer, we have our uh, center over here, just right around the corner here, our, our comprehensive learning center that has computers available all the time, or the library, either one. So um, that should be a problem for you. What else? Talk to me. I'm not mean. I'm not hateful. I won't string anybody up by their toes. Um, I love to hear students' comments about the concepts that we're talking about in class, and I know you're going to get plenty tired if all you hear is me every day. So you know what you've got to do between now and Thursday. I will probably be coming to you from um, South Boston, so people in here and in any of the classrooms for that matter if you're sitting there and there's nothing happening 
go find an IT person. Don't just sit there and assume that somebody's going to come straighten things out for you, okay? I'm just going to tell them it's not working. Help us, okay? Um, because otherwise, they're just going to let you sit there, okay? But hopefully after today, I knew today would not go back to it, but okay, we made it. We'll be squared away. All right. Well, I'm done for the day, and I will see you all Thursday. Go do what you've got to do. I will hit the stop button. And...